Namaste. You are listening to the findings of Ahoratra Natesha Polepalli from Gagana Gochari Vasundhara. Today, let us have the darshan of Holy Kailash Manasarovar on Google Earth. To move is the true nature of all beings. The Kailash, which is the navel of the earth, the child of Jagan Mata, is also our lifeline and the abode of Uma Maheshwara. Manasa is the life-giving amniotic fluid of Jagan Mata's womb. Maheshwara, who presided over the making of earth, resides here. It is also the abode of Rishabhadeva, the first Jain Tirthankara. It can be said that Adinata and Shiva are one and the same, as it can be observed that they both resided on Mount Kailash at the same time and both had Rishabha as their Vahana. All Shiva temples of the world are replicas of Kailash. Shivalingas of Lingayatana have two parts. The Linga which denotes Shiva and the Panipita which denotes Goddess Parvati. These are naturally formed in Mount Kailash. Kailash has Yamadwara in the south, Varunadwara in the west, Somadwara in the north and in the east is the Indradwara for the gods to descend from the heaven. In the south is the Nandi mountain facing Shiva. There is a Gauri Kunda, the birthplace of Lord Ganapati. Just beside it, there is also a mountain that resembles the face of Lord Ganapati called Ganesha Parvata. On the Mount Kailash, there is a vertical line called Trinetra Rekha and a few horizontal lines called Vibhuti Rekha. The vertical line depicts Shiva and Parvati face to face in the Ardhanarishwara's form. It is said in the book of Samarangana Sutra Dhara that Ravana used machines called Gajayantra and Garuda Yantra and metal ropes prepared using metal alloys in his futile effort to shift Mount Kailash to Lanka, causing those horizontal lines. Manasarovara is in the shape of Lord Brahma's heart, where his mind resides. Manasarovar, glittery like gold, is where gods are said to come down to earth. And right beside it is the Rakshasa Sarovar, built by Ravana. And this is where Diti's sons, the Rakshasas, are said to come. It is in the shape of fat-bellied Rakshasas, Ahoratra.